All right. Hi, everybody. I thought I would show you some things with my gardening stuff. This would be my beautiful lilac that I love very, very, very much. She's getting really, 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 really big. And spouting off all kinds of babies. I know there's dandelion weeds and and stuff. My garden is just full of grass and dandelions and those horrible, horrible vines. Morning glories. They can be really pretty, but they're a pain right in my ass. And as you can see, I love irises. They are not bloomed yet, but they are getting there. I decided to retire my laundry bucket for weeds. I'm getting another laundry bucket eventually. There's my cane so I can stand up from sitting down because it's so hard on my back. I brought the mat in from outside. It's got the rubber backing that I can kneel on. So I'm not kneeling in the, the mud and dirt and crap. I have a little bag with all kinds of accessories that my son Justin and his wife Nicole got me for I think Christmas one year. Look at my Mother's Day. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> um, this plant right here, when that blooms, it has these spiky purple flowers that are absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love them so much. Back over here, this orange one. I thought this was really pretty. It reminded me of my youngest son, Jake. His favorite color is orange, and I believe that would be the shade of orange that he loves so much. And believe me, he is particular on the shade. <laughs> right, Jake, if you're watching? I have all different um, kinds of irises because they're just my probably my favorite flower. I came out yesterday and dealt with a lot of dandelions. That's why you can see some back there are cut off because I tried to cut them off to, so that they wouldn't throw their stupid seeds everywhere. It's so annoying. My hostas are very big and overgrown and I am trying to recruit some help. Um, it's so hard for me with my back and my neck to, to do these things, but they have to be separated. And, um, yeah, that's something that I definitely can't do. And to come back down here, that's one of my stones. It got broken through the winter, Lord knows how. These are my cute um, things I got from Timu. They, um, they're solar, they light up, and they, they're kind of cool at night. That was my very first thing that I got from Timu last year. Very first thing. It came in a set of two. I've been with team ever since. Um, more irises. And this is a baby of the lilac that um, I showed you before. Um, I don't think it's gonna flower this year, but um, there's no telling. I don't know, probably not, but we'll see. Wonders never cease. That is the remainder of a garden stone. I don't know what happened to it, but it got demolished last winter. I don't know what happened. And irises. Oh my God, the weeds are so horrible. I've got such a job ahead of me. This is my gorgeous, gorgeous, I think it's an azalea. My boys got it for me one year when I was having very, 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 very bad back problems. They got that for me to kind of perk me up. And it's looking better this year than it ever has. This is my bleeding heart that I um, put in a pot and I kind of wonder if it should be transplanted. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful. The hearts are so pretty. I put this here. It reminds me of my grandpa. This is for my grandpa. He passed away years ago, but he's always in my heart. So is my grandma. Over here is my wind chime that I hauled recently. It's so pretty, I love it. And this is my thornless blackberry bush. And my arbor that I put in last year. 
I think last year. This is my little angel that reminds me of my little girl that I miscarried when I was in high school. Yep, I did that. And then this is a raspberry bush I'm tempted to take out because um, it is not thornless and it hurts a lot. And then this is my grow bag for my strawberries. The Ozark Beauties that I planted in there. They seem to be taken off, but I don't know if they have anything growing yet. Probably not, but we'll see. And I got some kind of tree growing right here. Who knows? Planted some more strawberries, but they, yeah, they're, I think, deceased and they didn't make it. So, this is my little sock cover to cover my faucet in the winter. I don't need any lines. Um, freezing, freezing. This area here, I'm thinking about putting some topsoil down, this whole line, and putting snapdragons through here. But, um, yeah, it's hard, you know? There's so much stuff that I wanna do, I just physically can't because of my back and my neck and my medical problems. Oh, there's the other one for the little thing. It lights up at night. It's solar. It's really beautiful. Oh, and there's a little tiny itty bitty little baby plant down in there in the weeds. So, I just thought that I would show you some of my garden mess that I'm trying hard to deal with. It's absolutely beautiful and all those babies should find homes and I gotta get rid of those stupid dandelions and I don't know what that purple weed is, but I don't mind that. You see that? I'm sitting down in my chair. I don't mind this little weed. I think this is really pretty. I don't know who classified it as a weed, but I like it. I don't mind it being there under my lilac. And this right here is my little spot with my other wind chime. And I got some really pretty flowers in there. I'll update it through the summer as I'm trudging through this mess. And oh, hello, hello. My nails are still good from my Color Street nails. So that's a really quick one. I hope you guys are having a good day. It's nice and warm out here. It's in the 70s. I'm going to go. My neighbors probably think I'm insane. So have a good one. Enjoy the weather if it's nice where you are. Be happy, be healthy, and give a loved one a hug. It's always, always, always welcome. Unless they're not a hugger, give them a high five. Bye, guys.